So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and since the release of the new March 31st, 2017 ban list, I've been getting a lot of deck profile requests for a new upcoming format, and last week, since Duelist Saga was released, we also got some amazing new hero support cards, such as Honesty Neos, and also Vision Hero Vylon, and a lot of you guys, since the release of those cards, you guys are like, Sam, please do an update on your Mask Hero deck profile, and you know what guys, I always answer requests and prayers. Here's my Mask Hero deck profile for the 2017 format. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and before we get started, if you guys can smash that thumbs up button, 500 plus likes for more deck profiles for a new upcoming format, that will be absolutely amazing. And shout outs to the notification squad, you guys are the real MVPs of the channel. If you want to be part of the notification squad, all you guys got to do is click on the bell button right next to the subscribe button to get notified on each time I upload a video next. So without further ado, let's get started with this deck profile. This deck is actually really, really fun. It's basically Mask Heroes uh, with uh, the new edition of Honesty Neos and also Vision Hero Violet. On, and I love Totally Awesome because Totally Awesome just gives you so much access in, into defensive plays and it's such a really powerful XCs overall. If you have access into it, you definitely want to play it. And since we got Norden still, Totally Awesome is just so, so good in the deck. And, you know, especially with Dark Law, Dark Law is just a really, really powerful card in today's metagame because of Infernoids. And anything that basically, basically utilizes the graveyard loses to Dark Law. So Dark Law is just so good. So that's why I love playing Mass Heroes. But anyway, start up with the monsters. You're going to play Elementary or Shadow Mist. This card is essentially your straddles of the deck. Uh, so just your mass change and also when it's sent to the graveyard you can basically add an elementary hero monster from your deck to your hand which is really really I'm good gonna play triple elementary hero bowman you guys all know what bowman does uh, bowman lets you have access into rank four plays and gives you access into totally awesome well first bahama shark then totally awesome which is really good while you hard draw this card while you have no cards on the field and no cards in your hand you can special summon this card and basically draw two cards so bowman is a really good card within itself so uh he's bay as well new hero engine is you want to play one vision hero vion and of course uh the one element here on a CMO. So I believe that this, these two cards are really good at one of the deck. They're just cards that are used to basically support the Mask Hero archetype. Basically, what Honest Neo does is that during either player's turn, you can discard this card and target one hero monster on the field. It gains 2500 attack until the end of this turn. And during either player's turn, you can discard one hero monster. This card gains attack equal to the discarded hero monsters. Uh, but that secondary effect is irrelevant because most of the time, you're not going to be summoning on uh, Honest Neo's uh, anyways. You're going to be using Honest Neo to basically bump your Dark Law to 4900 attack, which is absolutely huge. And this card is searchable off Emergency Call and also off uh, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist as well. So that's why Honest Neo's is really, really good. It's it's so one of the great hand battle traps that have that heroes have access to. Uh, so basically, he's not really dead in your hand if you only play one copy because if you're trying to basically combo off with your Bowman Man plays, if you already do have Dark Law on the field, you can basically discard to the graveyard to target the Dark Law. Dark Law will become 4,900 attack. And of course, if you have Bowman in your hand or like an, uh, a monster and a Bowman, you can normal summon the monster and then special summon the Bowman if you have no other cards in your hand. So honestly, Neos isn't really dead if you only play one copy. That's why I decided to play one copy because if you have multiple copies of this card, your hand it's not that good and i believe that uh playing more 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 than one copy can just clog the deck and you don't want that to happen so elementary hero honesty neos definitely gives the deck a little bit more boots uh into your dark law becoming 4900 attack gives anki a boost as well basically give all your hero monsters a boost uh which heroes had a problem with in the beginning because uh, of the low attack that it has dark law is only 2400 beater which a lot of monsters can get rid uh can get over nowadays uh and with addition to uh, hero honesty neos during damage step, activate Honesty Neo's effect, make Dark Mode become 4900, which is pretty, pretty big. So one Honesty Neo, and one Vision Hero Vion, okay guys? The reason why Vion is in deck is because this card is a foolish barrier for E-Heroes. And this card synergizes really, really well with Element Hero Shadow Mist. If this card is Normal Summon or Special Summon, you can send one he Hero Monster to the Graveyard. And its secondary effect is that you can banish one Hero Monster to add a Polymerization from your deck to your hand. The secondary effect isn't too relevant in this deck because you don't really have anything else to basically Polymerization uh, in the deck, aside from absolute zero but you rather go into a rank four xc's play rather than absolute zero most of the time and uh that's 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 just my opinion uh using the polymerization effect so therefore i don't play polymerization in the deck if you guys definitely want to incorporate polymerization you guys can definitely go ahead and do that most of the situation where violon is just viable is that let's say that you top deck a uh, rota you can you know uh you know like you guys are in the top deck game you t either top deck a vion or a rota you can act you can activate rota search division here vion summon vion okay uh send shadow mist to the graveyard okay 
and then you search a bubble man and then special with the bubble man and here's your rank four play right here just a one card rank four play which is really really amazing and at this point like you know if you already dump shadow miss uh, if you are playing polymerization you can banish the shadow miss search the polymerization from your deck to your hand then you can fusion summon into absolute zero but uh, like at this point like you you rather want to have access into a rank four play rather than absolute zero a lot of rank fours in this deck are just really really powerful especially utopia the lightning so this card can essentially become your one card utopia lightning which is really really good and uh, but the only downside of this card is that this card is not searchable off e emerge you call it's only searchable off the element of your shadow mist so which is really really nice so let's see that you're basically uh you know you special on shadow mist on your turn you can activate mass change send this card to the graveyard on your opponent's turn and then search the vision hero uh vion so that way that you basically have a free rank four uh in your hand which is really really amazing and there are situations where you have this okay in your hand for example these two cards in your hand you guys are probably warning okay damn uh, I can't really combo off anything in this hand if you open up these two. Uh, well, yes, you guys can. So let's say that you already have a Dark Law or E-Hero Monster on the field. What you can do is that you can activate, uh, what's it called? Uh, you, you can normal summon Vision Hero Vion, okay? And let's say you at this situation, you already have a Dark Law, okay? So your Dark Law is over here. And this is why Honest Neils is just so versatile. So you have a, a, a Dark Law on the field, and you have these two cards in hand, okay? You can normal summon Vision Hero Vion, activate Vion's effect to ditch Shadow Mist, and then search Bubble Man, okay? So this is this is your hand right here. So this is your hand, and this is your field. Okay, now you, what you want to do is, oh, you're like, damn, man, this hand is cloggy. You can't special on the bow, man. Well, yes, you can. Uh, Honest Neos can activate during either player's turn any time. So you can activate Honest Neos to ditch this, ditch itself to the graveyard to make Dark Law become 4,900 attack. Then now since you have no cards in hand, and let's say you have other spawn trap cards, you can set them and then special summon the bow man from your hand, and then you have a 4,900 Dark Law with a rank four XCs that, that's gonna be coming out. Preferably Utopia Lightning for the situation that you're in. So that's really, really good. Uh, the, some of the things that you guys can do with this Vision of Hero Vion, it's a one card XCs, which I recommend you play in the deck. And it's, o it's only a one-off, guys. You, you wouldn't wanna play multiple copies of this card uh, because it's not searchable in my personal opinion, other than off uh, Shadow Mist. But one copy of this deck, uh, in, uh, one copy of this card in this deck is definitely the right number in my personal opinion. And I've been playtesting a lot and it's been working really, really well for me. So one with Vision Hero Vion and one element of your Honesty Neos to round off our e-hero engine really really good let's go up to our next engine you guys definitely want to play the triple tin goldfish you guys all know what tinglefish does basically uncollect your hand and gives you access into bahama shark which is really good and it's also uh, essentially with another level four monster in your hand a one card uh rank four xc's play so triple tin goldfish really good and last but not least double summoner monk to round off our monsters really really amazing summoner monks is really good as well uh if you have open up summoner monk and hero limbs you can just normal summon summoner monk did hero limbs okay right especially summon the shadow mist and just basically proceed into your combo plays which is really really good so yeah summoner monk is amazing as well and that's pretty much it for your monsters let's go off to your spells real quick for the spells what you guys want to play is uh triple mass change you guys don't know what mass change does really really powerful card uh, helps you have access to your dark line also absolute uh, not absolute zero uh, anki and also uh, your acid which is really nice triple uh emergency concerts one road off triple hero lives Hill is really great. Basically helps you get access into Dark Law as quickly as possible. And last but not least, guys, this card is uh, a win more card, but I love this card. Uh, is Miracle Fusion. Uh, although that Miracle Fusion is not searchable with Vision Hero Vion, I believe that this card is definitely more viable uh, than a Polymerization. Polymerization requires you to just fusion something from your hand and on the field, but Miracle Fusion is that you can actually use your monsters first for XC's material, then use Miracle Fusion to utilize uh, your, uh, your graveyard monsters, banish them, special them in an absolute zero, which is really, really good. So I definitely think Miracle Fusion is way better than Polymerization, and that's why I don't like playing Polymerization. If def you guys could definitely incorporate Polymerization in the deck, but this deck basically focuses on the the same concept as Mass Heroes uh, at, at, as it was before, you know, totally awesome heroes, but with the addition of Vision Hero Vion and also Honesty Neil was uh, in the deck in my personal opinion. Uh, but Miracle Fusion is just a really, really good overall win more card. Uh, you top back this hook during late game, some some absolute zero, and just basically ram into your opponent, clear their board, and then or just proceed for damage, which is really, really good. So Miracle Fusion is just really good for that. Uh, triple Instant Fusion. You guys don't know what Instant Fusion does. Helps you access to Norden, and Norden is just really broken. I don't know. I, I don't even know why that card isn't banned yet. Uh, Wonder Geki, okay. And last but not least, uh, Double Twin Twister to run off our spells. And this is optional, guys. With these two cards in the deck, it's a 42 card deck. But if you guys can just play this this lineup, you guys can. But I like playing Pot of Desires. I still do not understand like the reason why people hate this card so much. Probably because it's really expensive. 
But Potter's Riders just gets you there. Uh, in this deck, you're playing triple loves of everything. Triple E-Claw, triple Instant Fusion, triple Mass Change, triple, uh, you know, Hero Lives. You're playing so many triple loves in the deck. Potter's Riders does not kill the deck at all. It basically helps you access into your combo pieces faster, actually. And uh, you know what? You rather, of course, search your Bowman's first, search your Shadow Mist first before you activate Potter's Riders anyways. It's a plus one of the deck. And just basically draw two. This card is really, really good. I don't know why a lot of people are hating on it, but this is totally optional for those of you who... Uh, uh, what's it called? Do not want to play a Potter's Eyes. I get it. I understand. It's just really expensive. So my, uh, you know, my thoughts about this card is that if you cannot play it or you don't want to play it or you don't like it at all, don't play it. And this deck will be a 40 card deck directly uh, if you do, if you don't do not play Potter's Desires. Oh, I love the trap lineup guys recently because of the new cards that we got in Raging Tempest. So one Solemn uh, Judgment, uh, not Solemn Judgment, sorry, Solemn Warning. That will be pretty lit, Solemn Judgment. Uh, double Solemn Strike, uh, Triple Dimensional, uh, not Triple, Double Dimensional Barrier. Okay guys, and the thing that you know Hero lose to the most is definitely Battle. So uh, definitely Battle Traps is really good in the deck. So Double Storm Hero Force, and last but not least, the new addition to the deck, which is one of my favorite cards in the deck of all time, Triple Lost win holy moly guys you're playing triple loss win you're basically playing six a lot six like phoenix chains in the deck because if this card goes to the grave it comes back like it comes back it's just so so good you're playing six copies of one card uh, of three cards which is really really amazing so that's pretty much it for uh you know the trap lineup loss win is just really good negates the monster strike permanently and also cuts the monster attack in half and of course if your opponent monster special special from the extra deck just reset this card wow Really, really a powerful card overall, and it's a really good battle trap because Dark Law lose to bigger attack monsters. So during the damage step, activate Lost Wind or uh, either you know activate uh, uh, Honest Neals on your opponent. You're pretty much Gucci. Lost Wind is really good, especially in combo with uh, with Honest Neals. You can activate Lost Wind on a monster uh, attack with Dark Law. You know what's it called? Activate Honest Neals to make Dark pick up 4900, and your opponent will be losing a, a lot of damage, especially against the Zodiac. Uh, matchup you're basically gonna activate lost swing on your uh, on your on your opponent's dryden that dryden becomes zero and if you combo up and honestly kneels with dark law that's 40 4900 which is pretty pretty huge uh so battle trap is just really really important in heroes because dark law just loses really really easily in battle uh so that's pretty much it for um the main deck let's go out to the side deck Side deck I haven't really uh, fully uh, con like constructed yet. Uh, this is just like an, an overview of what you guys can play in the side deck. So I got uh, double Forbidden Chalice, uh, really really good. One XC's Encore, really great against Totally Awesome, really amazing. Uh, double Dark Hole, really good going second. Uh, double Mind Bodies and Shield. I, I like this card because Dark Law loses uh, to cards like Dark Hole. You know, Heroes loses to big board wipes, so my Body Shield just really works well uh, with this deck. You guys can either play my Body Shield or Forbidden Lance in my personal opinion. It's all up to uh, personal preference on what you guys want to play. Triple Antest Ball Fragrance, really, really amazing against, uh, you know, Inferno Uh So, yep. And then uh, you want to play one Twin Twister. I love Twin Twister because you hit their back rows, which is pretty nice. And uh, against Paleozoic, you're already maining deck two Twin Twister anyways. So the third Twin Twister just works really, really well. And also helps you ditch uh, Sh Shadow Mist to the graveyard to basically get a search, which is really awesome. Uh, next off, you're going to play Double Wiretap. Okay, especially going first against Paleozoic Wiretap, which is really, really good. And last but not least, you're going to play Double White Veil. This card is a personal attack of mine, and it's really gimmicky because it's, it's so good. When Alexis used this in the show, she blew out the, the matchup. While the equipped monster battles, your opponent cannot activate any spell traps until the end of the damage step. So you activate this card on Dark Law. Dark Law attacks Paleozoic. Paleozoic don't do anything, okay, against White Whale. Uh, when an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, declared face up spawn trap cards your opponent controls have their effects negated until the end of the damage step, okay? Even if this card leaves the field. So any face up cards, negate. Really powerful. When the equipped monster destroys an opponent monster by battle, you can destroy all spawn trap cards your opponent controls. So his card is a heavy storm on attack on a Dark Law, which is huge, which is huge. But the only downside about this card is that when his card leaves the field, when his face-up card leaves the field, uh, you know, uh, leaves a player's uh, spawn trap card zone, that player takes 3,000 damage. So that's, that's huge, man. Uh, so you have to be smart when you're activating this card. You wouldn't activate this card when you know your opponent searched on Oleanoids or have Twin Twisters because they're just going to Twin this card and you're just going to lose and just burn damage. So it all depends on how you utilize this card. But most of the time when you resolve this card against Paleo, you're, you're winning the duel, man. It's crazy. So that's pretty much it for your side deck, guys. Side deck is always up to personal preference. Um, what's it called? Extra deck. Double uh, Mass Hero Dark Law. One Mass Hero Acid. Heavy Storm. And one Mass Hero Anki. 
uh, for your materials. And last but not least, one absolute zero because you can make it with uh, Miracle Fusion. And by the way, guys, a lot of you guys uh, gotta know this if you don't already. Absolute elemental hero, absolute zero. You can activate mass change on this to bring out acid, so that way that you activate, uh, you know, uh, mass change on this, it wipes the whole board. Summon acid, wipe the entire back row. Powerful. Uh, double totally awesome. Double Bahamut Shark. I love this card. The reason why this card is just so good in this deck is because totally awesome helps to protect Dark Law, and it's such a really good defensive card in today's meta. And it's one of the best XCs of all time, in my personal opinion. One like Gusto Emerald recycles all your um, e hero monsters to the deck. One Castell. One Abyss uh, Dweller, and last but not least, the Utopia Package to run off our deck. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely yeah. amazing, guys. And remember, and guys, if you have any own personal text or a card preference that you guys definitely want to use in your deck, please go ahead and do so because just use my deck list as a guide on what you guys are playing your own deck list. This deck list works really, really well for me. So if you guys see any changes that you guys want to make, please go ahead and do so because everybody has their own different ratios and different play styles. This just happens to be my deck list and what I can uh, provide and showcase you guys. That's pretty much for this video. This is Zam from Team Zam. Zam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.